Patreon member shout out. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God bless you, please, Mrs. Robinson. Heaven holds a place for those who pray. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. We'd like to know a little bit. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming out here today with a VV Omi update video. If you guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say hello to Dashy. Hello, Dashy. Commenting, liking, subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that thanks button down below. So, Omi down 1.29% today, uh, down to 0.00174. Still not 100% worried because we do have a, a $772,000 uh, in. Uh, the daily volume for today, the last 24 hours, which is fine. You know, if we had $2 million and it went down that much, like, okay, then, then that's something to worry about. But this is fine. Just one of those lulls. Bitcoin down, not as much as only today, at 0.23%. Uh, that's what it went down to. And the final number for that is 237 So it's still doing okay. Like, I'm kind of happy the way Bitcoin's performing. Is there going to be one more capitulation? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But there is something, one of the main reasons for this video is what I wanted to show you, uh, Daniel Mack from uh, Snapchat. So this is somebody that spent $2 million on a Excuse McLaren. Me. Your car's awesome, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm into virtual real estate. Virtual real estate? Yeah, I sell what NFTs. Do you mean? Oh God, there's an ad. Sorry about that. NFTs? Yeah. What do you mean by like virtual though? Like you see mansions in the metaverse. In the metaverse. Yeah. How much? Did, like, have you made a lot of money doing it? You bought uh, this car doing that. Yeah, I recently sold an NFT for five hundred thousand. Five hundred of like a house. Yeah. In the metaverse. Yeah. Like next to Snoop Dogg or something. Something like that. Near it? Oh my yeah. god, dude, that's crazy, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Hey, your car's awesome. You so know? this is a clear example of why I have said previously the most diversified I would divest out of Omi is into land in the VVverse. Why? Because I've seen opportunities like this before. Most recently on Earth 2, uh, I, so, I get bids every single day for that. I get bids every every single day on multiple, multiple of my properties. It's not just I have like one or two that are really popular, although, although I do have a bunch in Chavez Topia. Link down below to Earth 2. Totally amazing, um, uh, amazing platform. Uh, the link to the game, my... Referral code and Chavez Topia, which is my mega city over there. I think with the right marketing and the right things, I that could be worth hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. That in conjunction with the Essence token. And, and again, I, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. But when the VVverse comes out, why do you think that I'm going to be taking millions, probably not, probably tens of millions of my Omi to go and buy land there? because of things like that. Now, you've seen stuff in Earth 2 that sells for, yeah, five and six figures. That's fair, that's fine. Um, but there are other places like in, I don't even wanna say Second Life, but Decentraland, Sandbox, which if you look at the KPIs of some of those companies, they're not nearly as good as what is going on in Vivi or on in Earth 2, and what is soon to be going on in Utility. Link down below for Utilities Twitter and Utilities Discord. A amazing platform. Can't, can't wait for more stuff of that to launch. Roadmap says we'll get the first NFT on that platform in late August, but I think that might be pushed back a couple months just because, again, tech. But um, I I'll, I'll get back to Utility in a second. For land in the metaverse, I, I think right now it's similar to what it was in the dot-com bubble in 2000s. Oh, you have a website? Let me give you money. Oh, you have uh, this metaverse with land? Let me give you money. And mo most of them, I don't think will succeed. I think a good amount of them will. And I think we can kind of sniff out the ones that, that will. I would say VVverse and Earth 2 are probably some of those main candidates. Sandbox and Decentraland as well. Pretty much anyone that Janine Yorio from Every Realm, uh, the woman that I had interviewed a couple weeks ago, anything that she's invested in, you know, has some money going into it. You know, she's, she did that very, very large funding round uh, a few months back with Andreessen Horowitz, Lil Nas, or, or Nas, Lil Baby, Gene, uh, Gene Simmons and all that. And, you know, that they're on board. We've been kind of fighting this, like, NFT fight where what's going to be good, what's going to be bad. Like, if you take a look at some of these metaverses, 
and what that land is going for 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 no IP. Like the land that's going for in there is is just because okay, maybe it's next to Snoop Dogg or maybe it's next to you know this really super valuable scarce property that only has uh, you know X amount of these. If and this is you know this might be a big if. If we get some of our IP, like let's just say Marvel, let's just like you know go to Big Hero Six, go to Wreck It Ralph, go to Marvel, Disney, Star Wars. If there's any of that type of land in the VV verse, am I Falco from Star Fox? Because that's it, game over, pal. Everyone's gonna want that. I, I I don't know too many people that that aren't invested in crypto and NFTs. I don't think they know what Board Ape Yacht Club is. You know, I, I you know if, if they kind of heard of it, kind of heard of Bitcoin, I don't think they know what Decentraland is. I don't think they know what this is. They might need, they might not know what VV is. They, the only reason they would know is because I would tell them. But they know Marvel. They know Star Wars. They know Disney. Dude, if, if, we, get, if we ever get Nintendo, and Nintendo has, like, Peach's Castle, my God, man. And so getting back to... Uh, the, Again, I'm not doing that for no reason. I, I don't do things for no reason. Speaking of which, going to utility. If you have not, if you have not watched my last few videos or streams, I've been retired for about a year and a half, coming out of retirement just specifically to work with utility. Again, links down below for that. Their Twitter, their Discord. Just by joining that Discord over the next couple of days, you'll receive amazing benefits just for the first 500 people, then a thousand people, ten thousand people, etc. You know, I get offers all the time, but the part of the reason why I did is because of the partnerships that they have already that are publicly announced, not including the ones that are not publicly announced. And the fact that every single drop that they do has proceeds going to charity. And for those of you that know me, that is a big one. My end goal is animal conservation. I'll make sure a couple of these drops do go to that. But but yeah, um, I, I wouldn't do this for, for just anyone, for just any one company. Anyway. Uh, comment down below if you've ever had any type of metaverse land, whether it's in Earth 2, Decentraland, you know, uh, pick it. So, moving on. We got some fiche news from Brock McBlockchain saying, Hello everyone, the tournament will be ending on 8pm Eastern Standard Time on the 31st of July. Matches will work after this, but we will only look at the match history up until the time of the tournament ends for official scoring. We'll also be potentially carving out OA matches in an attempt to make it more fair. I'll be as transparent through this process as possible. In other news, the single player mode is playable. Animations are being refined and updated, so it, should, it shouldn't be too long now before that jumps into some beta testing as well. While this is in beta, I'll be working or on completing the play to earn mechanics for the arena and the metaverse. I got the second preview for the main lobby of the aquarium today, and it's really starting to take shape. I also hired a voice actor for no reason at all. Quick reminder that the beta tournament doesn't just offer prizes, but that the win-loss record for the beta will be added to each Fisha's metadata who are played at least one match. Lots more I'm leaving out, but I'll leave this here. I hope you're enjoying the project. Lots more to come. And also, thanks for anyone who helped support the current fundraising. Even sharing has been helpful. If you purchased a Fisha or donated during the fundraising, I've got a little surprise for you as a special thank you. Um... I don't want to go and say, hey, go and mint a fish just because you're going to get something special. But, I mean, you know, everything, you know, all the all the fiches that are minted right now, um, going for, you know, one of Brock's friends that, that needs something, I think it's a medical thing, trying to raise $30,000. He's been working his tail off, raising the funds, selling things that he doesn't have to. Um, and I, I think he's already made like 7 k and a lot of stuff from the fiches that 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 it's minted right now does go towards that. So if you've ever wanted to jump in, and you said no for whatever reason, now is probably a pretty time, pretty good time to do it. Why? Because you have you have that um, you have just that added reason on top of the amazing stuff that you get. Um, moving on, there is something that has been circulating, which is very old, but I feel like I should address it. It's a request uh, for extension of time to file a statement of use for the VVverse. I had talked about this quite a while back, but it's just saying that the trademark for VVverse, the standard characters, yes, uh, USPTO generated image, yes, literal element, VVverse, name, Akomi Technology, PTE, LTD, 
and it's uh, the mailing address is for this happened to be 531A Upper Cross Street, Singapore. Um, why why is this important? It's not really. We have somebody named Andy saying VV verse uh, statement is a sworn statement to the United States Patent and Trademark Office that attests that your trademark application is now being used in commerce. This is something that you know was was a couple years ago. Um, so it, it's great that they've been working on it for that long. But but yeah, it's it's kind of old. Even Foster Hill says very exciting. I know that it had trademarked last year already, but it'll be awesome once they finally roll out what's behind the name. And I agree with that 100% as well. Good times. We had an idea from JP Trees that says, we got to get a Mike Tyson's punch out type of game in the Viviverse. Why I think maybe this might not be possible, depends if we get uh, Nintendo or not. But for stuff like, let's say old video games, what, what did Nintendo Switch just come out with? They just came out with Pokemon Puzzle League on the Nintendo Switch. It, the, the mechanics do work slightly different. Like the, the joystick is very, 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 very sensitive. But I, I think that older video games for companies that we have, like Sony or Universal or whatever, like, I don't see why they couldn't be done in the BBverse. Like in Pokemon Stadium, you can go on and play and, and play the Pokemon games because you had that rumble cartridge, you had the cartridge that you could do it into. I think we could do that with older video games in the future, of course. Go Collect reports that this J.R.R. Tolkien written and autographed letter signed J.R.R. Tolkien regarding the history of Tolkien's own name and his inspiration for Lord of the Rings from April 12th, 1956, sold on 27 July for $30,000 through Heritage. What? Oh, I don't have it. It's, it's tucked safe away right now. But what do you guys think would happen for those cards? Actually, I know where it is. For these cards that have David Yu's signature on it. Again, I don't know, really know why I'm hiding the number. It's already been redeemed. But yeah. We did get another shout out from Boba Fett. The Boba Fett fan club saying VV's official Boba Fett NFT is available blind box style for $80 at 8 a.m. Pacific time today. Again, this is yesterday. Uh, three styles from left to right, ready for action. Uh, I have you in my sights. And on guard, which was the common, ultra rare, and uncommon. And speaking of which... We have whales such as Clever Jerk over on the over on the uh, on the VV app saying they have the this is for the uncommon uh, Boba Fett number eighty number eighty eight hundred number eight thousand eight number eight thirty number eight hundred eighty eight and number eight thousand eight hundred eighty eight for the uncommon and of course number eight hundred eighty eight for the common um, absolutely wild with that work Boba this is the way. This is not the only thing that Clever Jerk had done. Clever Jerk is an evil genius. There is something called the 424 group where, you know, Vivi had airdropped a secret rare blue and beta animated 2 for people that had a bunch of different sets for blue and beta, a bunch of Jurassic Park stuff. And what did Clever Jerk do? Clever Jerk got the secret rare number 420, bought it, and the ultra rare beta and blue animated 1 number 420. I just thought that was pretty awesome. And, and some people like the memes. They, like me, I, I have common and ultra rare alligator Loki number 69. Why? Because I like him. Everyone comment nice down below for the 69. <laughs> Moving on. Rockman Blockchain about 24 hours ago says 3 a.m. I probably shouldn't drop it. You don't have your keys yet. Might be something with the fish cord. Might be something with Aquarium. Not 100% sure. I did go and um, tweet at Elon Musk yesterday because he tweeted... Saxon, if we're going to do video game stuff at the Texas Gigafactory, perhaps one could work in the more cartoonish franchise merchandise, Super Mario, Pokemon, Sonic the Hedgehog, while another group works on other more realistic game franchises merchandise like God of War, Metal Gear Solid, Elden Ring. That way, more people who like video games would be incentivized to come to the factory. And of course, I shout out a tweet to say we should really talk about what VV Collectibles is doing with their IP and the VVverse. No response as of yet. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Kobe Collects who went and watched my uh, four hour stream with uh, K Collections, aka Kyla May, uh, who had him on her stream uh, last night. Uh, so definitely go check that out. We had a really interesting, we had that uh, go on yesterday, and then we also had Fanny Carbonell, who played Mrs. Goldstein in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, that Harry Potter spinoff was interviewed by Wendy Stabalis on her channel uh, yesterday as well. So we had a lot of really good streams going on. Um, the fam do be growing, though. So we do have 
this is something that um, I, I just love it when Brock does things like this. He says, quote, I'm grateful to currently have my health, so I will, I'll give up some of my beautiful things myself and others have created so that someone else can have a better chance at health too. Art has utility to move you and to allow others to move. Stay tuned. I'm pretty sure this was in reference to his friend that needed something for $30,000. I'm pretty sure it's medical related, but yeah. Um, we also have, okay, I'm Team Common Gang for the, um, for the Boba Fett drop. Comment down below if you're Team Common Gang as well. Update from the Boba Fett fan club. Sold out in under two minutes. 20,000 so editions at $80 is about 1.6 million. We did burn uh, over a billion Omi just today and yeah, they um, they know. They th these the people that run the Boba Fett fan club account, they know. Um, they are one hundred thousand percent in the know. They they get it, which I'm very happy about. So recently we have comics and crypto saying, did you know Amazing Fantasy number fifteen was released on August tenth, nineteen sixty two. Next month, it's a couple weeks from now, will mark its sixtieth birthday. And David Yu responds with, happy birthday, woo. Um, so good times with that. VV Digital Collectibles goes and says, if not successfully verified by 12 p.m. Pacific time tonight, which is 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the morning, which is just before making this video, saying you will not lose your account, you won't lose your collectibles, only the ability to participate in drops and buy and sell on the market. Functionality will be restored when your KYC is successful. Support continues to work through the queue. Thanks for patience. Something else I saw recently for the the, sh the Dave Pressler shut up and paint. There's one guy named Mr. Rolex that's got number 66, 77, 888, 770, like 777, 666, 555, 444, 333, 222, and 111. Maybe I should show him my number 69 that I'm selling for $6,942. So it's 69,420. Again, I don't, uh, that, uh, don't buy that. That is completely not worth it at all. That floor is $50. Do not buy mine. So we do have news from Matt on deck. Says, hey, everyone. Uh, something is coming up. The project is called Fight Club and consists of 300 unique physical bats. So these are one of ones, which is really interesting. And what he's going to do is once you buy them, you can either, if you have the NFT, uh, you can keep the NFT or you can burn your NFT and then you get the physical one of one bat. Or if you... If you don't want to keep the NFT, you want the bat. You you burn your NFT, you get the bat. If you keep your NFT, he burns the bat. So it's it's super scarce. It's super crazy. Those are going to be available through Maker's Place. I just had a, a interesting get together with them a couple weeks ago. Uh, after a period of time, the holders of the NFT, like I said, can choose to burn burn them for the exact copy uh, of the bat, or you could uh, decide to keep them and he burns the bat, which is absolutely wild. And there will be a whitelist for holders of particular NFTs he's released in the past. We'll be announcing which NFTs allow which whitelist soon. So it's a potential that if you have some of his NFTs, maybe on the Vivi app, not confirmed, that you might get put on that whitelist so you can get some of these one of ones. Going to be wild. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everybody, please check out at HeyDavidDon and at KingMavs Forever over on Twitter. Stand off chart and King Mavs over on the VV app. Kobe Plex and Player one over on the YouTube. RayThax.eth, so main name. Kyle Wilson, Wendy Stabalas, Putin Cheeks, VV Las Vegas, Taps Trades, Mars Davis, Legacy Bermuda, Sony Pop Media, VV Darklink, Metal Lemon, and VV Vibes all on the YouTube. At Nomad with Guitar, at WetWizardVV, and Gary O at 1234CA3. All on the Twitter and Fanny Carbonell FR over on the TikTok. Everyone say bye bye to Dashi. Bye bye Dashi. I love you guys. Shout out to Vivi for the shirt. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.